Hello and welcome to Security. This is part three of the Triad Me Mitre Room. And today we're going to be doing tax five, the Shield Active Defense, or as it is currently being called, the uh, uh, Mitre Engage. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the next task is the Shield Active Defense task. And um, this task actually has a, a machine. So, let's just start the machine. And um, I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna quickly retry it. So it says Mitre Engage has replaced Mitre Shield. So so even though Mitre Shield was retired, Mitre Archive Shield on GitHub. If everyone will, wishes to continue utilizing Mitre Shield, so uh, Mitre Sh Shield or Mitre Engage now talks about active defense and it's basically trapping an attacker in um, your network, basic or uh, Placing a decoy basically to be able to um, observe an attacker's movement and learn about the attacker's um, TTPs. So, um, one way you can do that is with um, honeypot, honeypot and honeynet. Maybe also utilizing fake information like fake usernames and passwords, leaving files um, in, on a honeypot with fake usernames and passwords just to see um, how the attacker is going to utilize that and observe the attacker's movements. Okay, so yeah, there are other different methods as well. The attached virtual machine has this repo installed and configured for your convenience. Um, deploy the machine attached to this task. It will be visible in the split screen view once it is ready. If you do not see, if you do not see a virtual machine, then load it. Um, show split screen, screen view. Okay, so I have to make it full all the way. Normally, I can connect to. Normally, I can connect to it with my system, but I think it might be better to just use the split split screen view here. So, how do you do that? Um, you go, you click just right here, split screen view, and you should be able to see the machine. Okay, so this is a machine that we just started. So what's next? Um, after the virtual machine has successfully, successfully launches, open the terminal and we get to this. So click on terminal. And navigate there. So CD. Um, Slash desktop slash meta master. Okay, so we are there. And then once you're in the directory, run the following command. So bundle exec check you and um, serve. So run that command. So just wait for the command to run. Okay, so it says once you see this output, now we get to our website. So if you just click on it here. Let's see. Okay. So we have it open, open up, and um, it says shield home. So what does it also mean? Um, you should now be able to explore a local copy of my entire shield. And um, yeah, this is some information about my Mita Shield from the website. It's a Shield is an active defense knowledge base. Mita is, develop, Mita is developing to capture and organize what we are learning about active defense and adversary engagement. Derived from over 10 years of adversary 
engagement experience is spans the range from high level CISO, um, CISO ready considerations of opportunities and objectives to practitioner friendly discussions of the TCPs available to defenders. So the US Department of Defense defines active defense as the employment of limited offensive action and counterattacks to deny a contested area or position to the enemy. Okay, so so now that we have the local shield, shield copy of shield running, we'll be able to answer the questions because like if you go here um and click if you go if you go to, if you go to in order to answer the questions, for example, if you go to this the website from here, it has been changed to engage, so you won't be able to answer the questions correctly with the engage. So but because we have a local copy here, we can use it to answer the questions. So we can just you can just continue reading through these um instructions and basically when you're done you can answer the question. So the first question is which shield tactic has the most techniques? And if we click on this we can see click on the matrix. We can see the different tactics and their techniques. So if you, if you look at under detect, you see that detect has the most techniques. And um, so detect is the answer for that. So is the tech is the technique decoy credentials listed under the tactic from question one? Yes or no? And if you look under this detect, yeah, you can see decoy credentials right here. And um, so answer to that should be here. And um, explore. DTE0011. What is the ID where a defender can plant artifacts on the system to make it look like a virtual machine to the adversary? Okay, so probably have to search for that. Um, when you click on menu, click on tactics and say all. And um, Oh, so this is DTE, so we're looking at te techniques, not tactics. So click on techniques. So we're looking for DTE0011, which is decoy content. You click on that. And it says, what is the ID where a defender can plant artifacts in a system to look like a virtual machine to the adversary? So let's see. Can look through this and um, let's see. We just search for virtual. So this is an opportunity to send the coin content to make non-virtual systems look like virtual systems to see how an adversary reacts. So that is the answer for this. And um, Also on it says use cases. So let's look for it under use cases. Oh, so this should be talk about that. So use cases. Plant artifacts to make it look like a virtual machine. So I'm just gonna look through this quickly. So this is a defender can use the query content to give a false impression about, about the system when the adversary performs system discovery. 
So let's try that. Oh, that's not correct. Um, A defender can use decoy content to give a false impression about the nature of the system in order to entice an adversary. So let's try this. I think this might be it. Still not correct. Oh well. Um, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this should be it. A defender can plant files, registry and choose software processes easily to make a system look like a VM when it is not. So those are some um, techniques that basically look very much alike. So yeah, that's that's the right one. So based on the above based on the above use case, what is the attack technique mapping? It says hint, check the complete mapping and um, what is it? Attack technique mapping. So we're talking about DC0234. The defender can implant files, registry, injury, software, processes, EDC to make a system look like a VM when it's not. So let's see. Um, let me open this up. Let me open this up in a new tab. So we're looking at the core contents. And um, okay, so in the hints it says check the complete mapping. So if we go to attack mapping here, this should be under reconnaissance because yeah, that's trying to get information. Um, so, and the core content is DTE 0011, okay? So let's see, DTE 0011, can look for that here, okay, so we have this here, and it says the defender can see the core content to the network configuration files, no, that's not what we're looking for, this is another DTE 0011. The defender can expose the current information about the organization and try no, that's not still what we're looking for. This is another one. It says the defender can use the core content to give the false information about the system when an adversary performs network information discovery. So I think that might be it. Let's try that. T1592. That's wrong. Um I think that was one of the ones we got wrong earlier. So let's see, DT011, the core content, not, not searching websites. Um, another one, this is network monitoring, still not. This is external sources or resources no that's still not it let me just pause the video while i find the solution so oh, what what i did for this i just scroll down to the attack techniques and um since this is talking about virtualization it's talking about two things it's talking about virtualization it's talking about information gathering because the attacker is trying to get the um, OS, basically the operating system of the information of the operating system of the victim. So if you look under this, under these um, attack techniques, 
we can look at what what is related to that and scrolling through these are attack techniques that are related to this to this DTE, um, this defense technique. And here we can see we can see um gathering network information. No, that's not related. Gathering host victim host information. I tried that, but I was in it. So I tried this that's talking about virtualization sandbox sandbox um, sandbox evasion which is also related to because it's talking about um virtual machine so and um, that was the correct answer so it says continuing from the previous question look at the information for attack for the attack technique what two programs are listed that the adversary will continue to to check for the adversary will check for so let's click look at the attack technique. Okay, I think I can just go directly to the meta attack page and look at that technique. And um okay. Okay, okay. So we're looking for this attack technique, which is T1497. Okay. So we're looking at techniques. Enterprise. I'm looking for T1497. C C one four nine seven. Okay. So virtualization sandbox version. So it says what two programs are listed that the adversaries will check for. Um so let's see. Adversaries may employ various means to detect and avoid virtualization analysis and analysis and analysis environments. This may include changing behaviors based on the results of checks for the present of presence of adverse indicative of a virtual machine environment or sandbox. If the adversary detects a virtual machine environment, then they may alter their malware to disengage from the victim or conceal the core functions of their implant. They may also search for VME artifacts um, before drop before drop dropping secondary additional payloads. Adversaries may use the information learned from virtual virtualization or sandbox version during the automated discovery to shape follow-on behaviors. So adversaries may use several methods to accomplish um, evasion such as checking for security monitoring tools, e.g., sys internals, Wireshark, etc. So let's see. That might be it. Let's see if that is what we're looking for. Sys internals and Wireshark. Okay. So um, yeah, that is the end of DAX5 on Shield or um, as as it is called now, um, engage. And in the next video, we're going to basically go through task six and seven and conclude. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.